bomb. There we go. That one. The last one. Okay. Yep. Okay. Good afternoon. These are new. I'm sure these ones are new. Tight and um, they are. Uh, because yeah, it's also also a once in a lifetime opportunity that uh, coronation of Charles. So that's why it's also a great opportunity <laughs> to celebrate as well. Yes, we will remember always the coronation of King Charles III. Yeah. <laughs> so, With afternoon tea bus. So, uh, Versions going to be for the Queen, for instance, when she was crowned in It's a big draw. It's a big draw because I think it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Uh, it, uh, it, 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 it re-puts, but not that London needs it, but it's a new story that we can tell about this wonderful city. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a city that helps to tell a, a beautiful fairy tale, you know, the royals and everything that is around them. Uh, so there's a lot of love and a lot of interest, and uh, we are sold out already, which is very encouraging. brings me back to the War of the Roses. There were originally nine kings in England. His favourite tea is a Darjeeling tea, and so we've made a Darjeeling tea cake. Um, we also have made a, an amazing damson plum uh, cake, um, because he likes to pick his damsons from his own trees in Highgrove.
During COVID, the tourism industry just shut down. So huge losses of about £149 billion have been suffered by the industry. And the industry is very much getting back on its feet and ready to welcome people. The restrictions to travel to Britain have been off for about a year now. So we're well on the way to a good recovery. Events like this really kickstart of the, the recovery, don't they? And they put Britain on the world stage again. And goodness, we do that so well. Our, our pageantry around the coronation will just be amazing.